Hi guys, so today I am going to be talking about some of the pricing in Yo World because there's been a new bundle deal that has launched and there's been so much drama surrounding it on forums. People are saying, are BVG greedy? BVG are ripping us off? And all of these accusations have been thrown around. So first of all, this is the Yo Cash deal. Um, it's only available for 24 hours. It actually expires two hours from now. Um, and you have four different options. So the first option is the bronze, which is $15. You get 115 Yo Cash and 250 coins and a handheld item. And I'm not going to lie, I actually think this is quite cute. I quite like that. Um, I need to find it. Um, the second offer is the silver. You get 240 Yo Cash, 550,000 coins, um, and you get this NPC guy as well as the snail plush. Um, you have gold, which is 550 Yo Cash, 1,000,000. 150,000 coins. You get a screen effect, um, which is very French-like, if I'm honest with you. Um, I don't really like it. Um, as well as you get the NPC, as well as you get the snail plush. And if you go for the platinum deal, you get 1,200 yo cash, 2.4 million coins, and all of the items that you see above, as well as this cool interactive. Now, they always have these deals on, um, and normally the $100 deal, it's $999.99, um, is always the best. Um, you get so much more value for your money, and I see a lot of people who actually do buy like a couple of bundles of them, like three or four goes of the Platinum deal. So the Platinum deal is normally like, let's just say $100. And today, well, last night, it came out at $120, um, which is a lot. It's a lot of money. Um, $120 could pay someone's food bill, someone's house bill. It could pay for something, um, and that is a lot of money for people. You are getting a good amount of money. You're getting a lot more coins than what you would normally get, um, and you're getting some yo cash. But I'm just going to quickly show you guys the thread. Where people are basically saying the Yo Cash bundle went from ten dollars to fifteen, and the hundred dollar deal now has gone up to one hundred and twenty. Um, a couple of people, you know, don't invest in the game, don't play. A Viking Amanda actually said the deals change depending on what's being offered. Next time you may see a ten dollar deal, and two deals from now it may go back to being fifteen dollars. Um, you said the exact same thing about the dollar deal, but where is that? And that is a good fact. We had a dollar deal, which was, you know, 10 yo cash for one dollar. And that started off brilliant and it was happening like all the time. And then since February, I think we've only had like two dollar deals or maybe three dollar deals. Um, again, people are saying some people are asking for bigger bundles. So they may start choosing and a few people are commenting on it. I do believe Viking Jess did also comment. She basically tried to describe, she checked back to the previous sale. The bronze offer was $5, for $5, 35 yo cash and 100,000 coins. And the platinum deal was $100 for 1,000 yo cash and 2.5 million yo coins and all of the items. Today's offer, however, you've got $15 for 150 yo, 15 yo cash, 250 yo coins, uh, 250 thousand euro coins even but mainly we're going to focus on this one so you've got 120 dollars for 1200 euro cash so you're spending an extra 20 dollars for an extra 200 euro cash you're getting less yo coins that is something i really want to point out here you're getting less yo coins than what you would get in the previous platinum deal as well as all the items so for me, I think if you're paying even more, $120 into this game, you're going to want way more Yo coins than you've had before. I understand. I think the Yo cash is fairly priced. I do believe the Yo cash is fairly priced. I believe all the items are fairly okay. But the fact of the matter is they've upped it by 20 Yo cash. They've not even given you the option to buy it for $100 and you're getting less Yo coins. And... Um, I genuinely feel like the issue is that BVG, they took the game on when Zynga was closing down, 
They try to do cheap, cheap bundle deals, trying to do cheap offers and buying no cash. Players started, you know, getting used to it. They kept it on for a year, a year and a half, and then realized, actually, we're probably not making any money from this, or people are buying into it, and we can't control the yo economy. Um, and so they are now trying to up the price. And I ha genuinely, I have forgotten the last time I bought Yo Cash into this game. I used to spend hundreds of dollars a month into it, and now I just don't bother anymore. I feel like I understand that BBG need to up the prices. You know, they have to cover costings. They've got a lot of staff that they need to pay wages for. You've got designers. You've got servers. You've got um, all of this stuff going on. But I genuinely feel like the only way I would ever go back to buying Yocash again was A, if the Yocash deals came back to what they were, or B, they can bring these new deals and up the prices, but control the pricing in the game. The prices of Yocash is increasing for us to buy. We're not getting any more value for our money. And the pricing of the game items are going up so much, and it's just so, so difficult to do. Like, you're spending... $120 for 1,200 euro cash, but I guarantee if you took one of every single item from a theme, it's going to cost way more than 1,200 euro cash, and it's just, it's just, I think it's, I don't know, I genuinely think this game is falling apart, <laughs> um, I think BVG aren't being greedy, they're just trying to be sensible, I think they're being greedy when it comes to pricing in-game items. Um, so, like, the hairs, the hats, the interactives, any furniture, the housing. I think that's what BBG need to look at. Not so much of the Yocash deals, because I do believe people will still buy them, but generally look at the pricing in game. However, last point is, last night I was in a trade centre, and a lot of people were talking about this, and I have seen so many players who I know for a fact spend a lot of yo yo like money on Yocash, um, and they've actually told me they've stopped buying it, they've lost their supporter badge, they're no longer investing in the game, they're spending their money elsewhere, and it is a concern. Obviously, BVG must be doing fine because we're still running, we've still got the game, but I just feel like this is a very damaging issue, um, especially when this time of the year there's not many players on the game because of you know, school started, people were going back to school, it's fall, end of summer, everyone's busy. I think BVG need to reassess. Um, but drop a comment down below, let me know, and I will see you guys in my next video. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Bye, guys.